change the current cyber Houston we have a problem every generation has grown up with their favorite TV serial you I guess see friends let me show you what I grew up with the famous Star Trek Yes, to boldly go where no man has gone before. So in line with the current context, change the current. What has really changed? And the big change is cyber. As you see on the screen, cyber is now the fifth domain of warfare, the final frontier. And why is it so important? It is more lethal than all the earlier four domains of land, water, air, space put together. Let me show you now how this effect of cyber is happening on the world's largest corporations. Yes, there are just two types of corporates, ones that are hacked and ones that know that they are hacked. So, in the element of warfare, what may I ask is the world's most dangerous weapon? No, it's not the Rafale jet. It is not that lady holding it. But yes, it is that USB. Let me tell you a story why. Iran had a most powerful nuclear plant and Israel and US tried their very best to bring it down and they came up with a very clever way they actually dropped infected drives USB drives in the car park and one curious engineer is all it took to take that drive put it into his office machine just to check what's there but little did he realize that that same system was the master controller of all the centrifugal fuges. And the rest, as they say, is history. What you see on the screen, mission accomplished without firing a single missile. They were able to bring down this huge nuclear plant. What a very clever thought way. In the art of warfare, let me show you a few other elements. The famous Trojan. Remember the movie Troy? Where soldiers who were in the brink of defeat hid themselves very quietly in a wooden horse. And the city people actually pulled that horse into their own premises and they got compromised. Similarly, in today's times, what you see, a Trojan, a Trojan horse, is a sophisticated malware which resides in your computer systems. It records each and every stroke of your keyboard, each and every word you say, each and everything you see, and quietly sends it to that hacker in Russia, China, or Japan. Reconnaissance and spying. In the era of Sherlock Holmes, you had to be in physical contact. But today, that drone up there, 36,000 kilometers up, is spying on you. Every move of yours is being detected. The firewall, the bastion of all security. We have a Lakshman Rekha story. The line in the sand which Lakshman drew, which Sita Bhabi was not supposed to cross. The human firewall. Today's firewalls, as you see, are state-of-the-art equipment helping protect banks, telecom, and manufacturing companies. The demilitarized zone, DMZ. The concept of DMZ actually started in the neutral piece of land between South Korea and North Korea. But today, as you see on the screen, it's a virtual zone where systems who connect to the internet are segregated from the internal secure systems. 
Let me show you on the screen. We all see movies. Tell me what's the common theme in all these pictures which you see. No, it's not security. I dare say security is boring. All these movies are made on crime. Crime is attractive. Crime sells. A human mind is in awe of a well-designed crime. But, ultimately, respect is given to the person who solves that crime. Even our old 007 has given up his pistols and missiles with his famous Q, helping him with cyber arsenal. We in India have our own version of the cyber, the native local Jamtara on Netflix. Haven't you seen those young kids in a poor village in the north of India who became instant millionaires through the social engineering route? So, who is the world's best hacker? Without a doubt, my guru, Kevin Mitnick. He was the most wanted man in FBI. He spent five years in prison. But then when he came out, he actually became an agent working for the FBI, helping them solve the toughest cases. He also wrote, the Art of Deception, on the similar lines of The Art of War, written by Shunzu, the general of the 14th century. Yes, 5,000 data points on every American. This, as you see on the screen, is the art of information warfare. Yes, nothing is what it seems, and trust is the new key of the digital economy. So, who is a hacker? Is a hacker really bad? No. A hacker is a superb computer expert. He specializes in the zeros and ones. Would you want to become a hacker in this line and help this world stays secure. Summing up in the famous lines of Dr. Carl Sagan, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known or just hacked. Do you dare to become a hacker? Thank you. Thank you.